Hi, welcome back to Waiter, there's more. I want to start off with a story of when I was working in a hotel and a guest said to us that he had a milk protein allergy. So somebody of the waiters thought that it was a good idea to give this guy some margarine for his bread. Now margarine is made from vegetable oil, but it looks very similar to butter. So when going out with the margarine, they accidentally gave him the butter. And his reaction was uh, loss of breath, so he couldn't breathe. We had to call the ambulance. Luckily, this guy made it and there were no legal consequences to all of this. He was very nice and polite and he's like, all right, mix mistakes have been made, but we'll, we'll disregard that. So we got lucky that time. But what we should have given him was olive oil to be 100% sure that he didn't get any milk protein. So today we'll be covering the different allergies and learning about how you can avoid situations like the one I just told you about. How dangerous are allergies? Well, people can die from allergic reactions. You don't want your guests to suffer. For one, they will not come back. Two, they might, <laughs> they might report you and there will be legal ramifications. So the best thing to do is just to listen to them and not give them what they are allergic to. The severity of allergies varies a lot. I myself, I'm lactose intolerant, which means that if I drink milk, I need to go to the hospital. But if I eat some ice cream, I might get gases and that's not so bad, but it can be uncomfortable if I'm on a spa weekend with my girlfriend and somebody gives me ice cream with lactose in. But I can eat lactose-free products. But people that have milk protein allergies, they can't have anything that's dairy or made from milk. Before we continue with the allergies, let me just quickly talk about our work uniforms. You can tell a lot about a person by just looking at what they're wearing. Sometimes the restaurants that we work in, they will provide us with shirts and it's important that we keep those shirts clean and ironed because otherwise it just looks like we're sloppy. We've partnered with Jeremy at 6 a.m. work shirts and he's provided us with this shirt that's non-crease which means that I don't have to iron it more than once and it'll stay crease free and it is liquid repellent let me show you red wine shirt Look at, look at all that wine I, I spilled on it and it's still completely white. Let's do that again. And the shirt is really comfortable too. And like I said, it doesn't get creased. So it'll stay like this, even though if I try to scrunch it up and it'll just stay ironed all the time. So we recommend this type of shirt or this exact shirt. If you click on the link below and use the promo code WaiterTips, you'll get a nice discount on the shirts. And now back to the video. The most common allergies are dairy or lactose, soy, nuts, gluten or shellfish. So basically shellfish is anything from the sea that has a shell. So prawns, lobsters, crabs, nuts also include almonds and some people can die from ingesting nuts or almonds. Gluten is everything that's made from flour. So 
typical things like bread, sauces that have gluten for to make them thicker. So what you can replace that with is, for example, corn starch or potato starch. So people that are allergic to eggs, for example, they can't have mayonnaise. So they need a different type of condiment or sauce to go with their food. And you should know your menu so that you can easily tell the guests what they can safely eat. So whenever you have guests in your restaurant, always ask them for allergies. Do we have any allergies? And they will hopefully tell you and you need to write all the orders down. This is important because the ticket to the kitchen, if it's specified, you can then prove in a court of law that you were not negligent. And thus you'll not have to go through a court process. So when you write down your ticket, number the people on the ticket, for example, is there, if there's four people sitting at this table, the first person is sitting here, second here, third, fourth. So if this person is allergic to lactose, on your notepad, you write first one, two, no lactose for this person. If the fourth person is allergic to gluten, then on the fourth line, number four, you write no gluten. You give that ticket to the kitchen. Some restaurants have written down all the allergies in the description of each dish. For example, if you are serving trout with um, a dill mayonnaise, it will say contains eggs. This is important because then the guest can easily read it for themselves and just pick something else or ask you, can I get the trout without the mayonnaise? Okay, easy. And then you can ask the guest if they would like something else instead of the mayonnaise. For example, a white wine sauce or something like that. If the guest do have a special request. For example, they want the trout, they don't want uh, white wine sauce, and they don't want the mayonnaise. You need to go to the kitchen and ask the chef what they can give the guest that works with the food instead. It'll just take a few more minutes extra, but you'll be sure that the guest won't get any allergens into their body. Cross-contamination happens when if I'm cutting bread that contains gluten and I have a guest that wants gluten-free bread, I'm not going to use the same cutting board and the same knife to cut the gluten-free bread. Okay, I need a new knife and a new cutting board. The same goes with everything in the kitchen. If they are using a bowl for mayonnaise that contains eggs and they are going to whip up something new, they need a new bowl and a new whisk or else that will be cross-contaminated. So people that are allergic to eggs can't eat. So what happens if someone has an allergic reaction? You can easily tell if someone starts getting rashes, big red rashes, or they just can't breathe. The thing you have to do is, first of all, you have to call the emergencies. In the US, it's 911. Here in Sweden, it's 112. And after that, you have to stay with the guest. They have to lay down and you have to elevate their legs so that all the blood goes to the vital parts of the body, the brain. Usually, guests will have an EpiPen with them, also called an epiphrine auto injector and you need to stick them in the leg with this stay with the guest until the ambulance arrives and you should keep your ticket just to make sure that you can 
prove to the police that, okay, I took all the necessary precautions to make sure that the guests did not receive any allergens into their body. But this sometimes happens anyways, because if you're allergic to shellfish and you have a drop on, on you from another guest at the same table, you'll start to swell up and you won't be able to breathe. This is super serious. There was once a dishwasher that I knew. He was washing the dishes. He had rubber gloves on him. But he came into contact with shellfish. Even though he had gloves, his whole body starts to, swell, to swell up. So it's quite serious. What legal responsibilities do you have? Okay. If a guest has an allergic reaction, you need to prove that you weren't negligent. Okay, that you took all the necessary steps to prevent an allergic reaction. Having guests coming into your restaurant that are allergic to different things and never having allergic reactions build a massive trust with your guests. So many times I've been out and ordered lactose-free food, but I still got a bit of lactose in my food and I never go back there. I don't sue them, but I never go back because I don't trust them. So to summarize, first of all, ask the guest if they have any allergies. If they do have allergies, write them down. Go to the chef and ask if he has any replacement for the allergens. This also makes the guest feel valued and important. And you'll likely score a bigger tip if you seem concerned and actually care about them not having an allergic reaction in your restaurant. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions regarding allergies, please write in the comments and I'll answer for you.